What is up guys, welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to be showing you five cool applications that are completely free and open source as well as work across all platforms. Okay, uh, these applications are really cool in my opinion, really useful as well. And you know, if you don't want to pay for the paid version of applications similar to this, these free alternates are just as good. So the first one we're going to talk about is BleachBit. It's uh, similar to like CCleaner or any of other paid applications, right? But it's open source and it's really cool in a sense, um, especially when it comes to privacy and da data, um, unlike CCleaner. So let's just open this up and see how it is. So you can see it has a really simple UI, right? Um, really easy to use, you basically clean your system and free any disk space that's unused with this, right? You can easily do it. You want to clear your cache for on my Discord. I can just select this. It'll clear all that out, right? Um, so it got it has all your applications or whichever applications have cache and things that can be deleted. So like Microsoft Edge, I can just delete everything, um, save passwords. Okay, yeah. So slack anything that you have any applications you know depending on what application you have on your computer your list might be different but that being said it will work the same way you can do a preview see how much information is going to be wanting to well, let me just abort that because i currently have um microsoft edge open and i don't want it to delete but you can see already it's already from cache it's just a, a one gig already that couple seconds that is scanned so it's obviously a lot more than that but you know similarly you can do this for any application you have just to get some free space on your computer as well as make it run faster so moving on the next one we will check out is cody so Kodi is a pretty cool application. It's like a TV player application. Um, you know, you can, if you guys are familiar with Plex, right? Um, it's kind of similar to that, but it has its own thing. So let's just pull it up. I have this from the, uh, this application from the Microsoft Windows Store, but they do have other applications that you can directly download and install, right? Um, so like movies, you can enter, add whatever you want. Um, and, and not only that, you know, these are from your computer, but you can also get from other places as well. You can also view live TV on this. It's just so much things you can do on this. So, yeah, so you guys can see it's pretty much everything. You do have to kind of learn how to use it at first because there is a lot to it and it's it can be somewhat confusing uh, if you're not familiar with it. But, you know, it, that being said, it's n nothing too hard or anything. So that's number two. So number three, let's check out OBS. So if you have any kind of streaming or if you watch YouTube a lot, you've definitely heard of OBS or even gaming. You've heard of OBS for sure. So OBS is a free open source software for video recording and live stream. And this is probably one of the mo main used application out there, right? It works on Linux, Macs, uh, Windows, whatever you have. Um, and it's honestly, it's really amazing. You know, this application works really good. And if you have any questions with it, the community for OBS is really big and you can, you know, someone will definitely help you out with whatever problem you have. And there's a lot of just cool add-ons that people have made for OBS that can help you as well. So uh, just scrolling down, you guys can see the screenshots on this, create professional production photos, um, collaborative creativity. Uh, let's just pull it up and check it out. So right off the bat, you can see the theme, uh, the, the UI is relatively simple compared to other applications, but you know, it's, that's how it's made. Um, you know, it's, you can select a scene here. You can select background. Um, you can start screen. It integrates directly with Twitch or YouTube, right? And you can directly stream from here. So you don't have to do any crazy things with anything else. So yeah, uh, definitely get, do give this, um, a try if you are looking to stream or anything of the kind, uh, this would probably def, this would definitely be my first choice to go to. All right. Moving on, the next one is called LMMS. So this is more geared towards people who make music, beats, instruments, play um, play with instruments, I, sh I should say. Um, this is more geared towards them. Um, it's a really cool application. Um, 
you know, I, I've used this in the past many times, especially since it's free and the amount of features that it gives for that amount. So, you know, you can choose whichever one you want, sample track. It, it has a bunch of widgets that just pop up, you know, whenever you're, you're selecting. Uh, you can change the volume, the tempo, whatever you want. You know, whatever you would expect in a paid version, this kind of has it as well. Right, um, you know, if you are definitely a beginner into music making or synthesize, synthesizing or anything, uh, this is your go-to application in my opinion. Last but not least is Photo Sketcher. Photo Sketcher is a pretty cool application. You know, this is just more of fun, right? Um, you know, if you're bored, you can definitely check it out. So you can see it basically creates a sketch of your photo, right? Or not even a sketch, mo more of like, artwork okay um, the name kind of is confusing because sketch does mean something it's a different effect but it's more of like an artwork so this would be the original photo and this is what it turned it into which is pretty cool so let's pull it up and I have this default photo over here that it comes with and you can see over here on the left hand side the parrot is the original picture and the right hand side is a lot more like a painting so it's kind of similar to like a, like water painting right for this one and you can just check it's um it, it looks pretty cool and the only downside for this I would say is it is kind of slow so it's not as optimal as I would want it to be. So it just watch when I scroll out. It, it, there's kind of there's definitely a delay to it, right? Um, but that being said, you know it is a free application and it is just for fun. So you know it's uh, nothing wrong with that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know these are the top five applications, uh, in my opinion, that are just some just cool to work with, right? You know um, if you're bored or you know, if you're beginning on some kind of new career, whether it's um, streaming or music, definitely do check out these applications. Other than that, you know, if you have any suggestions, do leave it in the comment below. Um, you know, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace.